Hey YouTube, it is Miss McLaughlin and welcome back to my channel. If you're just joining, just please remember to like, subscribe and comment below on this video. So today I'm doing the highly requested video of how I do my foundation, how I do my highlight and how I do my contour. This video has been requested by so many people. They always ask me, when are you going to be posting your makeup video? So this is my first, first makeup video, guys. If you do want to see how I got this look or how I do my foundation and my contour and highlights, keep on watching. For my foundation, I've already um, moisturized my skin and I've already added some, um, like a base foundation i do that i add a base foundation and what i use is the la girl pro um the bb cream and now i'm gonna add my actual foundation and for my foundation i'm using the l'oreal um infallible pro matte um foundation i don't use a lot of product and i use a beauty blender and I just pat it on my skin like this. And I have a pimple, which is really annoying. I'm going to do my, my highlight and my contour. And for my highlight, I use the LA Girl Pro Concealer, and that's in Warm Honey. Honestly, when you're doing this, guys, blending is your friend. And I don't really like to add um, a lot of product to the, my forehead. So what I do is I use the same uh, sponge and I just gently dab the top and when this is all blended out I like to use also the NYX HD Photogenic Studio Concealer and this is in CW06.5 and this is what it looks like just to brighten the under eye And I go in again and I blend it out. Now before I set my under eye, I like to do my contour as well because I want to set both my, um, my contour and um, my highlight as I go along. And for my contour, I use the MAC Blunt. And what I do is I'm using a contour angle brush and I usually start my contour from about here to here and then I bring it up around this area and what the reason why I do it this way is because I don't want my cheeks looking long so I literally just started from here and gently just bring the the residue down here so it looks like there's a line there but my face doesn't have that deep line of um, demarcation. So I literally do this 
Yeah, and you suck your cheeks in. I contour under here as well. And I bring this down a little bit under here because I'm still trying to add um, dimensions to my face and not look so oval. And at the same time, I don't want um, I don't want my makeup on my face to not match my skin. So that is why I bring it down on my neck a little bit. I'm done that. I use my Sasha Buttercup powder for setting my highlight. Now this powder, you guys, is amazing. I used to use the Ben Nye Buttercup powder before, and I find that it left my my face a little bit ashy, so I stopped using it. What I do is I use my same um, sponge that I used for my highlight before to apply my um, my setting powder. And I apply the powder here under my eyes and along here and a little bit here and here and the sponge is damp And I don't use a whole lot because I don't want to look crazy. And that is how I set my face. And then I use the NYX No Filter Finishing Powder to set my entire face. And don't worry if you get some of your contour off because you can always go back inside and apply some of it when you finish um, setting your face because I do that. I always have to do that. That's just how I do my makeup. So I just lightly go in and, you know, add back some of that. And after that, I like to add some blush to my face, or to my cheeks, I should say. And for my blush, I use the BH Cosmetics Professional Blush Palette. Depending on if it's a natural look that I'm using, I would like to have a little bit of color in my cheeks. So I would use this color right here.
And what I use to set that is the Essence Matte Bronzing Powder. This is what the Essence Matte Bronzing Powder looks like. And this is for the darker skin, which is darker skin there. Now when all that is done, I just go in and I do my favorite part, which is the highlight. And I use a lot of highlight, okay? For my highlighter, I use the Maybelline Master Chrome Metallic Highlighter or Illuminator. And this is the Molten Gold number 100. This is what it looks like. It kind of fell and broke. That's why there's a dent in it. And I got it from Shoppers Drug Mart. And I'm just using a little kabuki brush and apply to my cheeks. Now look at that. Now for my highlight, I also like to bring it up a little bit along here because I am extra. As for my nose, I don't really contour my nose. I just um, add a little highlight to it. The brush for the sides to just clean it up a little bit. And And then lastly, I just add some mascara on. I don't really wear um, a lot of false lashes unless I'm going out to an event. So for my everyday, I don't really wear, um, I don't really wear lashes. And for my mascara, this is the Maybelline Big Eyes Volume Express and it comes with two let me show you guys it comes with two parts so one for the lower one for the lower lashes and then this part is for the upper lashes so I'm gonna use this for my lower lashes because for my upper lashes I use another mascara Now, for my upper lashes, I use the Volume Accelerator. And this is by Rimmel London. Now, you guys may be wondering, what about my eyes? Now, for my eyes, I don't really do a lot with my eyes every day. 
like for going to work and stuff like that, I don't really do a lot unless I'm going out. Work purposes, what I do is I take um, this blush by Essence, the Satin Touch Blush, and I just literally just put a little bit over my eyes and that's it. And I know you guys are probably thinking I should have done this before I put on um, my mascara. But sometimes I'm just weird like that where I don't. And as you can see, I'm not using uh, a blending brush and that's literally what I do every day and that is how I complete my everyday looks for my foundation my contour and my highlight and these are just my basic looks for everyday going out to work or just hanging out with my friends if you guys do like this video please like this video comment and don't forget to subscribe to my channel let me know what you guys think about this video if you do want to see more videos like these 